Australia versus India test match number two. This one's brought to you by Jake's Wedding. Thank you, Jake's Wedding. Appreciate you. The baseball fans out there, I thought you might find this interesting because there was just a little something that happened in the match that I found interesting. And it's a little different than baseball. Watch this. The bowler, Ashwin, does not throw the ball. Acts like he's going to throw the ball. Doesn't throw the ball. It's legal. It seems like trickery. Sometimes you think they're going to do it to keep the runner in check. Steve Smith wasn't taking that big of a lead, and he gets back. He's like, are are you checking on me? But Ashwin, the bowler, didn't even look at him. He's doing this, I think, and I I think because he thinks the batsman is going to tip his hand at his approach, and he's going to catch him, and he does. And they look at each other, like, I got you. And Marnus is like, yep, you got me. Turns around and smiles, and then they all smile, and... What, what did he tip, you're asking? Well, he showed that he was going to try and sweep him. He steps out, he turns, he's going to try and do a sweep shot, and he's like, shit, you got me. So does he try to do it again, or does he change his approach? He stays with it, just a little tap, and Ashwin's like, oh, no, I did the whole fake. I thought, ooh, I thought you weren't going to do it because I, I faked you out. And Marnus is like, nah, did it. I was cute about it, just a little touch. Gets it all the way to the boundary for four runs. That's how that works. And it's just simple. You just don't see that in baseball. And you definitely don't see that, a reverse sweep. You also, in baseball, the batter can't really tip his hand. Just the pitcher can. But here, the batter can show you what he's going to do because he's got a pre-plan it. Steve Smith's going to try the same thing, and he's out. Umpire says, you're gone. And Smith's like, wait, what? Why? And he looks behind him that way not on the side the ball went to. I found that interesting, and I'm not positive here because I'm I'm a new cricket watcher, but I think maybe when you set up for this shot, your front leg, that left leg, is supposed to be even with the farthest away stump. That way, any ball on leg side would would seemingly not hit the stumps because it would travel so much, have so much turn on it, that the umpire would not even rule it. Maybe that's why he looks that way. Look at Ashwin's fingers. That's why he can spin the ball so crazily. Those are like both of mine put together. Steve Smith is upset. He doesn't like it. I don't think he thought the umpire was going to call it being on that side of him. And watch what happens. The reason he missed it is because it hits the seam and turns into topspin. So the whole time it's turning, you know, right to left, right to left. Then it hits a seam and now it's topspin, which keeps it under. He swings right over it. They go to review and first they're going to look at the sound waves to see if it did hit his bat because if it hit his bat, He'd be clear, but it did not. The sound waves don't come until it hits his leg, and that's not allowed. So then they go to the magic magician machine that tells you which way the ball would have went if it didn't hit him, and they say, yep, would have hit the stump. He's out. And Australia was doing pretty decent up until this point, and it's kind of a turning point of like, oh, boy. These are the two different sweeps, and you can see Marnus on the left. He's just soft about it. He's just kind of placing the ball where Smith is going for a big old knock, and that gets him. And then that got Australia kind of the rest of the match. They kept going sweep, sweep. India just danced their way to another victory, 2-0 and in the Test Series. If you are enjoying this video, if you got to this point, one, you could subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Two, I'm going to quickly show you how to read a scoreboard because if you're at this point, you might want to go to ESPN Plus or Willow or Flow TV or whatever you have and watch some cricket because now you're understanding it. Here's how you read the scorebook, okay? They're going to have the two batters' names that are up, the partnership, and they're going to have how many runs they have scored off of how many balls they have faced. They're also going to give you the bowler's name and show you how many runs he's allowed and how many wickets he's taken. And then they have the total team score runs they've scored and wickets or outs they've made. It's a lot of info, but it's awesome because it kind of, you flip on and you can read the whole story right away. Once you understand it, kind of understand where you're at in the game, what momentum is built and all of that. Thanks for watching again, subscribe. If you're enjoying these,